So in this video, um, I'm going to show you how to use the layering system in Procreate to be able to make different variations, um, different color variations in your concept art, your images, whatever it is you're doing. So here I have some concept, concept art of some goat men characters, um, some different ideas for the horns. And um, if I was showing this to a director and he wanted to see some different, you know, types of coloring for the horns and the pelt, um, what I did here was create several different layers, and on those different layers, it has different variations for the horns and such. So, you can make them white, more purple, right? Or maybe I want his fur to be black or gray, okay? And I did this very, very simply, okay? And I'm gonna show you guys how I did it. So, all you have to do, um, once you've made one layer, you have to make sure that whatever it is you're wanting to make a variation of is on a separate layer. So if you want a variation of his eye color, then you need to make sure the eyes are on a separate layer, okay? Um, in order to do it the way I'm gonna do it. There's other ways, but if you wanna do it this way, which is very quick and easy, then make sure it's on a separate layer. So let's use the horns, for example. Have his horns on a separate layer, and let's say um, I want to Give his make his horns red for some reason, right? So I'm going to take the first layer that I made, my original layer, and I'm just going to slide it to the left, right? Slide to the left and hit duplicate, okay? And that will make another layer. Now that I'm on that layer and I have it selected, I can click on the little magic wand tool up here and click on hue, saturation, and brightness. Now using this slider, I can move it around. I can adjust what color it is, so I want it to be red so I can either try and find red in here that's a little purple right and then if you want to make it even more saturated you can select it again and turn the saturation up a second time to get the right color you want so say I want a red right and then maybe for his fur um, I want to make some fur that is blue, okay? So I'm going to duplicate the fur layer, so now I have two of them, and then I'm going to show you the other way to do it. So instead of using the hue and saturation slider, I'm going to come to my color picker and pick a bluish color, and I'm just going to drag it over and fill the shape of that layer, okay? So now it's blue. And once I fill that, I can come over here and adjust it, maybe turn down the saturation, find a hue that I like, something that I find preferable. And there you go. And now I can turn those layers on and off whenever I want. And I can stack them with other layers. So um, if the director wants to see a different variation, like maybe he wants to see black fur with the red horns, or maybe he wants to see white fur, or white horns with the blue fur, it's really simple to switch back and forth. And you can use this for anything. You can use it, uh, I mean, if you're using vehicles or landscapes, you want to maybe change the lighting or the you know feel of the entire scene. Just duplicate the layer, change the color of it, and it's super easy to switch back and forth. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. Um, let me know in the comments what other tutorials you'd like to see, and I'll do my best to get to those. And be sure to subscribe and like. Thanks, guys.